For generations, the ayam simani, a rare breed of chicken from the Indonesian island of Java, has been treasured for its mystical and sacred properties. Dutch colonists first described it in the area, although it was not introduced to Europe until 1998. The ayam simani is a tiny, uncomplicated bird that is easy to handle. You will need to offer adequate shelter for cold and hot weather, as well as enough shade. These chickens retail for between $50 and $2,500 each bird. Compared to the standard $3 or $4 you would pay for a newborn chick, this is an outrageous amount. Since the bird is so uncommon, it is not regarded as an ordinary chicken. It is only gained and retained by people of considerable wealth and social standing. While it is often used in sacrifice rituals, it is seldom devoured. Today, the Ayam Simani is gone chiefly in Sumatra as an indigenous breed. However, it has been taught in Javanese mythology since the 1100s. Brahma is one of the giant chicken breeds and has exquisite plumage, which adds to the attractiveness of this unique species. Despite their size, they are a very docile chicken, making them an excellent choice for novices or families. They do well in colder climes and flourish in the northern states, where temperatures may drop to dangerous levels. The plumage is consisting feathers that should be grasped firmly together to provide a thick yet fluffy appearance. Their feathering goes all the way down their legs and completely covers their two outer toes. Brahmas have a big head with a somewhat protruding brow, giving the bird an intimidating appearance. Additionally, they possess a tiny comb and a small yet powerful beak. They may be difficult to exploit sexually. Pull its feather in more quickly in general. The boy's combs and waddles will get bigger, and they will acquire a more inquisitive temperament. The definite indication is the development of hackle and sickle feathers. Typically, bresses are white with pristine blue-colored legs and a single comb. However, bresses are also available in blue, gray, and black. Bresses are considered the world's most delectable chicken. They are grown mainly in France and are not named Bress unless they are produced in the Bress area of France. While American breeders may grow Bress, they are not imported from France and are called American Bress. They are primarily bred for meat production but also lay an average number of medium cream-colored eggs. With its light, thin skin and firm but delicious flesh, the taste is unlike commercially produced chicken from the neighborhood grocery shop. It's the chicken of kings, queens, nobility, and anybody willing to pay a little extra to taste this chicken with a distinct flavor. The death layer is an excellent layer. With its dense cushion comb, iridescent greens and purples in its black feathers, luxuriant tail, and utterly black dull eyes, it easily competes with the world's most attractive chickens. Death layers are a very energetic and somewhat anxious breed. They appreciate freedom of movement and prefer to roost in trees than an enclosed coop. They do not thrive in confined areas. They are less tamed and therefore need more contact with people at an early age to socialize. With its compact cushion comb, iridescent greens and purples in its black feathers, luxuriant tail, and utterly black dull eyes, the death layer easily competes with the world's most attractive chickens in terms of appearance. Dong Dao chickens are a robust breed that is thought of in Vietnam as a royal chicken breed. This breed is excellent for meat production, has a distinctive look and the thickest legs of any chicken breed. A Dong Dao chicken's leg has a form like a human wrist. Simply put, you cannot take your gaze away from their legs. The legs are the attraction. The legs are shaped identically to those of dragons. Dong Dao chickens have white hens and multicolored roosters. Due to a limited supply and increased demand, a pair of birds costs are very expensive as a couple of Dong Dao chickens cost $2,500. Due to their unique look, Dong Dao chickens have acquired appeal among the Vietnamese. The flesh of Dong Dao chickens is very expensive in many restaurants across Vietnam. Wealthy individuals can only afford meals prepared with Dong Dao chickens. Kadaknath is one of India's most endangered chicken breeds, indigenous to Madhya Pradesh's Jabua region. The Kadaknath chicken breed is renowned for the fineness, thickness, and flavor of its flesh. The Kadaknath's plumage is mostly jet black, although penciled or golden black plumage variations occur. 
It is renowned for its flexibility and flavorful black meat. Kadoknut's meat is expensive since it has less cholesterol and fat and more protein. Kadoknut has therapeutic properties since its flesh is believed to provide vitality. Additionally, Kadoknut's eggs are an excellent source of nutrients, particularly for the elderly and those suffering from high blood pressure. It is because their eggs have less cholesterol and more amino acids than eggs from other breeds. Even though this massive, muscular Belgian game fowl seems ferocious, liege fighters are usually amiable with humans. A variety of distinctive features distinguishes the liege fighter. It is enormous. Adult roosters may reach a height of 30 inches and weigh up to 12 pounds. They may grow to be double the size of domestic game birds in the United States. Their physique is ruled by muscle, and they are an imposing breed. Their feet are enormous. They are the biggest ever seen in a chicken breed and massive as those of a turkey. The liege fighter's feathers are exquisite, and its skin is often dark. They have a ferocious stare that is disguised by the large brow overhanging. With their menacing look, these birds are very amicable with their human caretakers. However, pity the hawk who attempts to attack a hen when a liege fighter rooster is watching. The hens are much smaller than the roosters and lay a vast quantity of whitish colored eggs. This chicken is stunning and very unusual tiny from the Swedish island of Åland. Three decades ago, just around 50 Åland's dwarf chickens were believed to exist. Their plumage is marked with black, ivory, red, orange, and brownish patches and streaks. They are a Landrasa type, which means they were not produced to meet a particular standard. As a result, they exhibit a range of plumages. They are courageous tiny chickens who get along well with both bit of and giant birds. Additionally, they are very friendly and can gladly feed off from human hands. The hens are excellent egg-layer birds, producing tiny tan eggs with speckles. You will be astonished at how energetically they lay and how often they had the lovely dark orange yolks you like. Orpingtons are a kind of chicken found in England, the most common type is the buff Orpington. Orpingtons are medium-sized chickens with a single upright comb. From the side, her figure is almost heart-shaped, with a curved dip in the middle. Her physique is wide and hefty, and she likes to walk low to the earth. Orpingtons are also excellent egg-layers, laying about 3 to 5 eggs each week. Regarding their feathers, they have an abundance. Although buff is the most common hue, there are many more recognized variations. Whatever the color of their feathers, they always have red wattles and earlobes, as well as a short, deep amber-colored beak. Their leg color varies according to their feathers color, but the most frequent leg color is a pinkish white. Orist chickens are an extremely uncommon and exotic breed that is incredibly difficult to find. The orist is a small to big, medium-sized chicken that has evolved to live on scavenging diverse food. Its unusual appearance matches its exotic origins. It has an almost unequaled black and white mottled feather pattern, which often extends to a mosaic of black and white scales on its legs. The chicks, with their panda-like patches of black and white down, are equally stunning. This breed is remarkably resilient. One unique trait is that the rooster's wattles become a brilliant iridescent violet hue when they get upset, a condition that is often observed while protecting the hens. As with various breeds on this list, the population fell to the point that the species was on the edge of extinction. Now, conservationists and breeders are working feverishly to reintroduce these magnificent birds to the gene pool and preserve them. The Pavlovskaya is categorized as an ornamental avian. It's because of its extreme rarity not just in the United States but across the globe. These chickens date back to the reign of Catherine II. It was honored as the 18th century's pinnacle of chicken beauty. At the end of the 19th century, the breed appeared very seldom at exhibits and eventually seemed to vanish altogether. Chicken enthusiasts use words such as, Pavlov's leg. This implies that the bird's legs are feathery on both sides and that the feathers are so thick that the leg seems to be wearing a feather stocking. It is the primary indicator of Pavlovskaya's distinction from other chickens. Each year, they lay less than 100 white eggs. 
They are very gentle and appear to delight in human contact. Even though the Surama chicken is tiny, it has a tremendous character. Saramas are little chickens that measure about 6 up to 10 inches tall. They maintain a highly erect posture, their chests protruding, their heads held high, and their tail feathers standing at attention. The bird's back is very short, with practically no space between the neck and tail feathers. Their tail feathers are almost vertically attached to the body and extend upward over the skull. When held erect, the wings should nearly touch the ground on the side. Their shoulders are musculature and positioned high to accommodate the wings. Their heads are very tiny, with a single comb and crimson earlobes. The eyes are bay red, and the beak is small yet big, they have clean, strong legs with golden shanks. There are many color selections available, including black, white, and orange. The Sussex chicken is indeed an ancient and much-loved English chicken breed. They have existed for over a thousand ages. Nowadays, this breed is a gentle backyard chicken that is ideal for households seeking an egg layer. They come in eight distinct color variations, but the speckled is by far the most common. This breed is large and serves two purposes. First, their bodies are rectangular in appearance with large shoulders and a long broad back. They feature a five-pointed comb in a beautiful deep red hue. Their tails are at nearly a 45-degree angle to their torso. Their shanks are white and neat, and each foot has four toes. Second, expect hens to reach about 7 pounds and roosters to be approximately 9 pounds. Nearly every physical aspect of the Swedish black hen, both outside and inside, is the purest black hue. Swedish black hens arrived in the Nordic countries through sailors traveling from Mozambique in the 1800s, but explanations vary and are often unclear. What is known is that Swedish black hens are petite and sleek, the roosters weigh around 4 pounds. White or cream-colored eggs are laid by the hens. Typically, the birds are almost all black, but some have rich mulberry red facial skin. Feathers may be iridescent in hues of green and purple. These birds are skilled foragers who represent their ancestors' hundreds of years of free-range existence. Black hens are well known for their resistance to frostbite on their combs. Despite its rarity, this Landrasa is affirmed to be robust and simple to grow. Chinese silkies are said to have arisen in Asia, it comes in two varieties, unbearded and bearded, and there are also distinctions among males and females. Silkies without beards have big wattles about 25 to 40 millimeters in length underneath their beak. Normal silkies are medium-sized birds that weigh between 1.5 and 2 kilograms. A silky's comb looks like a wart-like bump on the chicken's forehead instead of the jagged appendage one might expect. Ears are also embellished with striking blue lobes. Silkies are distinguished from other chickens by their five toes and dark flesh. Because the silkies' feathers lack barbs that would typically keep the strands intact, the individual strands hang freely. Each one of these strands measures about 50 to 75 millimeters in length and imparts a smooth, silky look to the bird. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week.